Humans like to interfere with nature and experiment with animals to create aesthetic and ideal traits. Our actions can have devastating consequences. Not for us, but for the poor animals. From scruffy chickens to fish with bulbous heads, here are the horrifying pets we've bred into existence and other animals that suffer because of human interference. Glowfish. Unfortunately, we haven't learned our lesson and keep interfering with mother nature and animals suffer because of us. What you're seeing probably excited you a little bit because look, these cute little fishes are fluorescent. Their breeding was done by introducing fluorescent genes from jellyfish or corals. The idea was that the fish change colors when exposed to toxic substances, so they could easily reveal if a water body was dangerous. But they were much more popular as pets, so breeders decided to go with the idea. But their unique characteristic makes them an obvious target for predators, so they can't survive in the wild for too long. Their breeding also raises ethical concerns. After all, why modify animals like that at all? Glowing Rabbit Seeing the success of the glowfish, people decided to experiment with other animals and successfully produced glowing rabbits. Like the glowfish, glowing rabbits were created by introducing fluorescent genes from jellyfish into the furry animal. Although they make for an exciting pet, the glow-in-the-dark rabbit raises quite a few concerns. Many wonder why change an animal in the first place, especially since the breeding may not be ethical. These fluffy creatures can't survive in the wild because their glowing color makes them an obvious target for predators lurking around. Glowing rabbits may also suffer from abnormalities or weakened immune systems because we altered their natural structure. Sadly, it doesn't look like we're going to stop anytime soon. Bubble Eye Goldfish this goldfish has delicate, fluid-filled sacs beneath its eyes, giving it a unique bubble appearance. While it's super cute to look at, and its features make it a popular pet choice, this aesthetic comes with risks. The bubbles are delicate and prone to injury, making them susceptible to infections and damage. They can even get hurt from aquarium decorations and neighboring fish. These bubbles also block their line of sight, making it challenging for them to see clearly. This impacts their ability to locate food, and they can't even swim safely. Unfortunately, some breeders prioritize its appearance over the long-term health and well-being of the fish. Dwarf Horses Look at this little horse trotting along! Don't you just want to pet it? He's, he's looking for a horse bed or something for the holidays, I think. Dwarf horses, or miniature horses, were bred for this very purpose. People wanted a horse that could fit in with small households and be a convenient companion. Naturally, their adorable features made them even more attractive. So there was a never-ending line of people who wanted to get a dwarf horse. Alice! And she's, yeah, she's very friendly. But years of selective breeding has made them vulnerable to certain health conditions including spine and limb issues. It's also very easy for dwarf horses to get hurt because of their small size. They can't survive for long on their own because they're an easy target for predators. The dwarf horses also face mobility issues and similar challenges. It's sad to think we've made their lives so difficult. Pugs. Pugs. They're easily one of the cutest dog breeds, with their cute pudgy faces and small stature. It's impossible not to want to pet them. Breeders wanted to create a dog breed that's lovable, adorable, and suitable for most households. And considering pugs are basically the ideal pets, they might have pulled it off. Sadly, pugs suffer a lot because of their beloved features. Selective breeding has given them a plethora of health problems. Their short snouts, which we absolutely adore, cause breathing problems. In fact, pugs start panting every time they get excited or move too much, which happens a lot because, well, they're dogs. This isn't their only struggle. Pugs are prone to eye infections and injuries because of their brachycephalic structure, a recurring consequence of overbreeding. Silk moth. 
Unfortunately, breeding isn't the only way we've harmed animals. We've also harmed animals by unnecessarily interfering with their lives, which has dramatic effects. The silk moth is one such example. These cute little critters were domesticated centuries ago because they were one of the few rare creatures that produce raw silk. Sadly, these critters lost most of their natural behaviors because of extensive breeding to achieve maximum silk yield and have trouble surviving on their own. They used to fly, but since they've lost their wingspan and have much heavier bodies, all they can do now is crawl. They've also lost the ability to mate on their own. It's so sad we've turned an insect that used to thrive in the wild into one that can't survive without us. Belgian Blue Cattle While this cattle breed looks like it hangs by the gym 24-7, its appearance hides a dark truth. The Belgian Blue Cattle's extraordinary appearance is the result of selective breeding, which gives them exceptional muscle mass, making their meat much leaner than other cattle. So you can only assume how popular this cattle is with farmers and the food industry. However, it's not so easy being a Belgian blue cattle. The cattle are muscular from birth, so birthing is exceptionally difficult on the mothers. Poor calving process stresses the body, creating fertility problems. Ironically, this cattle isn't as healthy as you'd think. Their muscle mass stresses joints and bones and makes them susceptible to overheating. It also needs a highly nutritious diet to prevent metabolic disorders. Manx Cat Cats use their tails for balance and coordination. It also helps them reach high places and gives them that sassy gait that we like to see. So, seeing one without a tail is a pretty unusual sight. Manx cats are born tailless, a trait that occurred naturally. But breeders like the idea of such an aesthetic and began purposefully breeding them to look like this. Unfortunately, Manx cats can have numerous health problems, including spinal and bowel issues, and they even have trouble keeping steady on their legs. Poor babies. I hope all of them live a happy life. Silky Chicken This is a silky chicken, one of the most unusual chicken breeds in the world thanks to their plumage, which gives them a fuzzy look. While silky chickens look extremely adorable to us, their excessive plumage makes things really difficult for them. It covers their eyes, making it difficult for them to see and move. And while these soft, silky feathers seem lovely, they don't keep them dry. So when it rains, they get cold and stressed out. And that's not the end of it. Because of these unique features, silky chickens have a tough time surviving on their own. So they've sadly become dependent on humans. Unfortunately, we really haven't gotten the memo, because even after knowing the problems these chickens go through, we still breed them to look like this. Telescope Goldfish Take a look at this fish, and you might think it's a little too interested in you. Its telescope-like eyes are why it's called the Telescope Goldfish, a trait purposefully given through selective breeding. Although it's extremely adorable and eye-catching, it experiences similar problems like the bubble eye. This swimming telescope's eyes protrude outward, so they're more vulnerable to injury and damage. Even a slight nudge by a neighboring fish can hurt them. Their unusual structure also makes them susceptible to swim bladder disorder, a condition which prevents them from swimming properly and can even push them to the bottom of a tank. Unfortunately, their unusual appearance makes them a desired pet, so breeders won't stop breeding them. Chinese Crested Dogs A hairless body with tufts of hair on its heads, paws, and tails, the Chinese Crested Dog has a unique appearance that sets it apart from other dogs. Most seek this breed because of its distinct looks, which owes to years of selective breeding solely to produce dogs that stood out in the crowd. While the lack of fur surely catches your eye, it makes life very difficult for these dogs. The puppers have to endure rashes and sunburns whenever they play in the sun too long, and can even get severe skin infections because of their exposed skin. That's not all. These dogs have fewer teeth than other breeds, 
so they risk tooth decay and gum diseases. If only breeders understood health is wealth. Damascene Goat This is the Damascene Goat, an animal that has a rather unusual appearance. With a flat face, a swollen nose, and a protruding lower jaw, the Damascene Goat looks like something that crawled out of a Jurassic movie. And it's all because of humans. You see, Damascene Goats were bred specifically to produce abundant milk and have soft, cashmere-like coats. But over the years, this specific breeding resulted in numerous problems, beginning with their unconventional appearance. Sadly, that's not all. These goats also experience fertility issues and utter infections, which speaks volumes about human-led breeding practices and their impact on animals. Sphinx Cats are widely adored as pets worldwide. But the Sphinx breed is often neglected because of their looks. Their appearance originated from a genetic mutation, but their lack of fur makes them hypoallergenic and sets them apart from other cats. So, once breeders realized their unique trait makes them a popular pet choice, they purposefully kept the feature. Sadly, lack of fur has made the Sphinx's life difficult. These cats can easily get sunburns and other skin infections that other cats can easily ward off. They're also sensitive to extreme cold and sunlight, so handling them can be a hassle. Sadly, while some readily embrace the cat, many struggle to see it as a traditional feline and refuse to adopt it, which is truly devastating. Babirusa Sometimes it's not us who impacts animals, but the workings of Mother Nature herself. Babirusa is a natural breed of wild pig that roams the Indonesian Sulawesi Islands. The Babirusa is often mistaken for the warthog, mainly because its standout features are its sharp, curled tusks. And it is this very curled gift by Mother Nature that puts the Babirusa in a constant state of discomfort. The curled tusks grow very quickly and point towards the Babirusa's eyes. If the tusks keep growing, they may poke its eyes and harm them. And that's not the only concern. Their unique facial structure makes them susceptible to dental problems, and they can easily injure their teeth, which prevents them from eating properly. Flowerhorn Kitchlid The flowerhorn kitchlid has a bulbous head, and although the sight may seem amusing to many, this fish's unique appearance comes with a bunch of problems. Breeders developed the flowerhorn kitchlid to have striking features that would attract aquarium hobbyists. And it seems the plan worked, because many hope to own this fish. But excessive inbreeding has weakened their immune systems, so they can easily get sick and develop health issues that can shorten their lifespan. The flowerhorn kitchlid's prime feature, the raised bump on their heads, can develop deformities or serious infections if injured. They can even have trouble swimming and can sink to the bottom because of various disorders. Z-Donk A donkra or a Z-Donk is a unique mix between a zebra and a donkey. Now, I know you'll probably find this creature amusing, especially because of its name, but their birth had a purpose. People bred the Z-Donk because they were curious about the results. And when they saw this unique creature becoming a popular attraction at zoos and parks, they simply kept up the breeding. Naturally, there were bound to be some issues. While a cute creature, Z-Donks find mating and breeding challenging, mainly because of their uncommon genetic structure. They also have a high chance of experiencing fertility issues and may not always produce offspring. To make matters worse, their bodies can inherit issues from both sets of parents so they can easily get sick. Cat dog. Is this the world's rarest animal? Who would have thought cats and dogs could actually mate? But before you freak out, let me go ahead and just break the myth. While these cute animals look like a rare mix between a cat and a dog, it's impossible for those two animals to produce offspring. We know this because some people tried to create the first cat-dog hybrid, but thankfully, some laws of nature are just too strong. So, what is this animal? 
This is a Vietnamese dog breed called the Mong, and their unusual but cute appearance is the result of years of natural adaptation and selective breeding. Polish Chicken It's easy to spot a Polish chicken because its crest sits atop its head like a crown. Humans selectively bred them for this fantasy look and even made efforts to enhance the size and shape of their crests. Its appearance isn't the only thing that makes it look like royalty. The Polish chicken is renowned for its calm demeanor, almost as if it knows its value. So no wonder it has a high demand. But this massive crest that we find so adorable and regal is a hurdle for these chickens. If not maintained, the crest covers their eyes, limiting their vision and making them susceptible to predators. They also require extensive grooming, which can prevent problems, but tells us all we need to know about breeding practices. Pekingese. We may not realize it, but this dog breed looks distinctly similar to the ancient Chinese food dogs, but it's not an accident. The Chinese food dogs were mythical lion-like creatures that were believed to guard against evil spirits. Inspired by the legends, ancient breeders bred the Pekingese, a dog with an unnaturally long coat and a short snout. Pekingese are extremely adorable and have high demand, so breeders continue to produce and raise these dogs. However, these dogs have brachycephalic features, meaning their skulls are short and broad. This facial structure can cause breathing difficulties, especially in hot weather or during exertion. Their dense coats also get mats easily, so they require extra care. Turkin. Many mistake the turkin for a chicken and turkey hybrid, but this creature is its own being. And while it's still adorable, we have to admit seeing its bare neck might make us feel weird. Turkins get their naked neck look from a genetic mutation, which was preserved over the years thanks to breeders. It also didn't help that their meat is darker and redder, so many poultry farmers decided to keep the look going. While the bare neck helps them cool off in the summers, that same trait makes colder seasons unbearable for them. They can get frostbite, and even if they manage to make it to winter, they rely on human shelters for survival. Yorkshire Terrier. This adorable pupper looks like it visits the salon every day because of its silky long coat. It doesn't help that Yorkshire Terriers are small, so you might mistake them for walking pom-poms. Obviously, such gorgeous features make them one of the most sought out dog breeds, which is why breeders won't stop breeding them. But you probably know where this is heading. Yorkies are prone to dental issues like tooth decay and gum disease due to their tiny mouths and crowded teeth. They also require regular grooming. Otherwise, their coat can mat and tangle easily. The thick coat keeps them warm in winter, but naturally they can overheat in the summer. Such issues show us why it's better to leave animals alone. Before we move any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can keep watching our amazing content. Frizzle Chicken This chicken breed is like a walking feather duster. And no, I'm not saying it's adorable, but it's certainly a unique look. Their standout feature was a natural genetic mutation, but breeders have intentionally maintained and passed down this genetic trait. This is because their distinctive appearance makes them visually appealing, so they're very popular with chicken enthusiasts and breeders. However, this feature has a drawback. While their extra plumage serves well in winters, it can be troublesome. Their feathers are fragile and can break easily. Frizzle chickens may also be more susceptible to skin problems and even require protection from extreme weather conditions to avoid discomfort or illness. Holstein Cows You can easily spot Holsteins by their iconic black and white markings, but these cows are best known for their abundant milk production, a direct result of years of human-led selective breeding. While breeders' efforts have made these cows popular with dairy farmers, 
Their practices have severely affected the Holstein's health. Holsteins frequently get a swollen udder, which gets so big, it prevents them from moving around freely. Holstein cows also experience udder infections and other uncomfortable health issues. They're also susceptible to liver problems. If that wasn't all, these poor creatures even experience joint issues and lameness because of their prize characteristics. Basset Hounds With their droopy ears, soulful eyes, and long, low bodies, Basset Hounds possess a charm that melts even the coldest hearts. They have an exceptional sense of smell, so they can practically track anything. Coupled with agility and a determined personality, they become the best dog detectives out there. Such features aren't a coincidence. Breeders wanted a hunting dog that could survive even the strongest adventures, so selective breeding resulted in this cute creature. But their droopy eyes can easily get in their way, and they risk getting hurt, and frequently get ear infections. Bassets are also susceptible to back problems, and are prone to health issues like arthritis and hip dysplasia, which prevent them from moving freely. This proves how bad human-led breeding can be for animals. Showgirl Chicken A quick glimpse at this creature will catch you by surprise. After all, a clear lack of feathers on the neck and chest is a striking feature. This is the Showgirl Chicken, and its unusual plumage is what makes it a prized exhibition bird and why breeders produce the chicken in the first place. This chicken may excel at exhibitions, but it suffers from health problems that stem solely from its unique appearance. The lack of feathers means it can easily get skin infections and sunburns. The chicken also has trouble regulating its temperature, so extreme seasons can make survival difficult. It seems showgirl chickens are well aware of their health because they engage in stressful feather picking which only worsens their case. Teacup Puppy Isn't this the most adorable thing you've ever seen? Breeders introduced teacup puppies for people who wanted smaller fur babies they could easily carry anywhere. They're so small, they can literally fit in a cup. And I gotta admit, there's been times where I've wanted one. But just think about it. While we love its tiny size, is it good? Of course not. Most teacup puppies are prone to health problems like fragile bones and dental issues. Their small size can also hurt them because these cute puppers can't control their movements as smoothly as bigger dog breeds. A horrifying consequence of their small size is how easy of a target they are. It would take one dive by a hawk to scoop these creatures away. Saddlebred Horses Saddlebred Horses they're a majestic creature, even from a distance. Their long stature, elegant gait, and striking features makes them one of the most beautiful horse breeds. Saddlebred horses were selectively bred in the United States. The idea was to develop a stylish riding horse with a high stepping action that looks elegant. Saddlebred horses are also easy to train, so hundreds of breeders began producing them out of greed. But for the saddlebred horse, its high-step gait can be very painful. These horses are prone to health problems, particularly issues with their bones. Constantly putting on a show stresses their joints, so they develop arthritis far more commonly than other horses. They even develop genetic health issues, so they are constantly uncomfortable. Valet Black-Nosed Sheep Known for their striking black face surrounded by fluffy white fleece, the Valet black nose sheep is far from unattractive. Though a natural breed, years of selective overbreeding have created several problems for this cute animal. Over the years, the Valet have developed an exaggerated facial structure, which can make it difficult for the sheep to breathe. Its thick, woolly coat may serve well in winters and colder climates, but summers are a different story because the Valet easily overheats and can get serious skin infections. The woolly coat also restricts the sheep's mobility, as it has to steer carefully, otherwise it risks being a predator's meal. They also experience fertility and joint issues, and it's all because of us. Betafish
Siamese fighting fish, or betas, are one of the most beautiful fishes and have a high demand in aquarium trade. But that's not the only thing they're famous for. You see, its name speaks for its personality. The betta fish was bred for a purposeful, aggressive nature, which served them well in staged fights and displays of dominance. However, this personality trait has become its biggest challenge. Though rarely trained for stage fights, it has retained its feisty spirits, which makes it difficult to keep. It constantly picks fights with other fishes, can stress out its neighbor, and even potential mates. Unfortunately, it has no control over this particular trait. Sadly, they have to be kept in a separated tank, which only stresses them out. Angora Goat Although the stunning Angora are naturally bred, some breeders domesticated them and began selectively breeding them to maintain a luxuriously soft coat. However, like many others, the Angora goat also suffers because of its most prized characteristics. The dense and long coat can make them more susceptible to skin infections and overheating, particularly in warmer climates. Their luxurious fleece also risks matting and tangling, causing severe discomfort. It's also very easy for them to catch ticks, mites, and lice. Their thick coat allows moisture to collect, which can further trigger issues like hoof rot. Sadly, their dilemma doesn't end here. Angora goats are prone to eye infections, parasites, heat stress, and other health problems. Teacup Pigs Seeing your pets grow up is a bittersweet feeling because while you're happy for them, you also miss their cute, small size. This is why humans bred teacup pigs. They wanted to introduce a pet that could fit in with most households and keep that animal baby fever alive. However, their size puts them at risk for various health problems. The miniature pigs can quickly gain weight and suffer from joint problems. They can also have breathing issues because they have a reduced lung capacity. Unfortunately, they also suffer from genetic health issues like skin conditions and dental problems. Although many of us would like a mini pet, isn't it better to have one that isn't in discomfort because of us? Serval. We always thought domesticating certain animals is an impressive achievement, but we don't think about the damage it can do to the animal. Servals are African wild cats, and just look at this majestic creature. It deserves to thrive in the wild. But unfortunately, their pattern coat and pointy ears made them a valuable animal for exotic pet trade. So most of these beautiful creatures have been roped up to live with humans, or are forced to because we also damage their habitat. The result? Servals can no longer behave like wild cats, and in some areas, rely on humans to bring them food. They've also become targets for bigger predators, because the hunting strategies of these kitties have changed over the years, and they've lost most of their ferocious charm. Bengal Cat In other cases, humans have created hybrids between wild and domesticated animals. The Bengal Cat is such a hybrid between the Asian Leopard Cat and the spotted Egyptian Mao or other domestic breeds. The idea was to get a household pet that was agile, but strikingly beautiful too. And while the Bengal cat had displayed such attributes, it isn't easy being one. These kitties are at risk for certain health issues, including heart conditions and eye disorders. Their statures, though graceful, may make them susceptible to pain and mobility issues. The Bengal cat is also primarily affected by flat-chested kitten syndrome, which causes respiratory issues and poor growth. All this for a unique pattern. We're horrible. Black Chicken The black Ayam Samani chicken is named so because its entire body, including the beak, is black. And believe it or not, so are its internal organs. No wonder it has a high demand. Who could ever pass up on such a majestic creature? Of course, its appearance isn't nature's expression, but a direct result of years of selective breeding to achieve a striking look. While breeders have succeeded in capturing this stellar appearance, 
Its physical features invite a bunch of health problems. Not all, but most I am Simanis experience breathing issues. They also have a weakened immune system, putting them at a risk of all chicken-related health issues. Ironically, the efforts to breed such a creature has affected their fertility too. They may have difficulty breeding or raising chicks. I feel awful. Liger The Liger is probably one of the strongest felines to walk the earth, and it's all due to its unique parentage. A lion as a father, and a tiger as a mother. It's pretty self-explanatory why they were bred. And since they are the result of the two most ferocious animals, combined into one, it's no wonder they have a high demand. But although crossbreeding creates unique results, it also brings a plethora of problems. Because every crossbreed not only gets the best traits of its parents, but also the worst. Ligers take after their parents, so they're twice the size of an average wild cat, so their organs outgrow and experience abnormalities. They also face mating issues and increased risk of infertility and birth defects, a common issue with crossbreeds. Zubron And here's a common crossbreed. A Zubron is a hybrid of domestic cattle and a European bison. Its humongous size speaks volumes about its demand. Cattle farmers bred the Zubron because it has a high meat quality and can survive harsh conditions. But their well-desired size strains their joints, putting them at risk for arthritis and other joint and bone-related problems. Their breeding is also quite difficult, because calving is understandably hard on the mother. Female Zubrons may also experience fertility issues, or having difficulty raising calves. Which brings us to the question, how far are we willing to go to achieve our goals? Zorse Zorses are a unique crossbreed between a zebra and a horse. And yeah, I didn't even know it was truly possible. Zorses were bred because people wanted to have an animal that would stand out for its looks. And considering this animal has eye-catching coat patterns, breeders may have hit the nail on the head. However, like any other crossbreeds, Zorses suffer from several problems that stem solely from the breeding. They experience difficulty in mating due to their unique genetic structure. And if they do mate, they might struggle to have an offspring because of reduced fertility. Zorses also have a specific temperament, so they won't adjust easily to environments where horses or zebras can easily thrive, which means they require intense care and management, and can survive in the wild. Geep This is a geep. It's a unique cross between a goat and a sheep. Geeps were a result of accidental natural mating, but when humans discovered this rare breed existed, they tried to replicate it in hopes of achieving greater fat content or a luxurious coat. However, such attempts weren't as successful. Most geeps, natural or human bred, are sterile, so they can't bring more of their kind into the world. Even those that weren't sterile had difficulty breathing and didn't produce any of their own. The geep is like just any other animal, so they didn't inspire more breeding efforts. So this might just be the only case where human-led breeding didn't lead to much more satisfactory results. You know, I'm actually pleased with that end result. Mangalista Pig The delightful Mangalista Pig looks like a cloud that got trapped on Earth, and while its cuddly looks make it a highly desired pet, it can be a bit difficult to steer life. Breeders developed these woolly creatures because they wanted to create a pig with exceptional meat quality and a warm coat. Couple the results with the pig's adorable appearance, it was easy to attract farmers and pig enthusiasts. But this luxurious curly coat gives them a greater risk of dermatitis, sunburn, and other skin problems because it locks in moisture and heat. Farmers and breeders want to maximize its fat content, so they keep feeding it, causing it to gain weight, putting it at risk for obesity. Poor baby. Budapest Short-Faced Tumbler Hungarian pigeon fanciers and breeders wanted to develop a pigeon that would garner attention, 
So they bred the Budapest short-faced tumbler pigeon. Let's address the elephant in the room. The Budapest tumbler's most obvious characteristic is its bulging eyes, which place it at risk for injury or other issues. It also invites other eye conditions, which can restrict its mobility. The tumbler pigeon's issues don't end here. Their facial and body structure makes them susceptible to respiratory issues, including pigeon lung disease. They can also get parasites and are prone to pigeon-specific health issues. This is Sam, a blind Chinese crested dog that gained attention for its mangy coat and disheveled look. This poor pupper was rescued in 1999 by Susie Lockett, who tried her best to improve his condition. But Sam had experienced a lot of trauma in a short time, so adjusting to a loving home wasn't easy. Sam was proof of how bad human interference can be, because even after a few years in Lockhead's home, he had a shabby coat and suffered from several health conditions. Sadly, people didn't understand his struggles and named him the world's ugliest dog. But we all know Sam was a special boy and deserved all the love in the world. Sam couldn't keep up with his health and passed away peacefully in 2015. I hope he's chasing squirrels up in heaven. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.